Greetings, everyone. I have an interesting episode for today. And of course, we are going to talk about Shikari Richardson. This is a video dedicated only to her to give her the center of attention. And I'll try to be fair and understanding throughout this presentation. No fancy graphics, no stats, just this picture that is in front of you. Let's discuss her past, present, and future really briefly. And then I want to go over what she can improve in and how she can become better. And if you guys have any suggestions on that, then leave it in the comment section below as I like to consider everything, especially for future videos, because data is important. Now, I do want to address some Shikari haters out there first, and I think the hate is understood, but do you think it is time to ease up on Richardson? I know I was a bit harsh on her at the beginning of the season because she just lacked character on the international stage. She was definitely a brand that some people in the United States appreciated. Well, I won't go too far and say some, but she did have a microcosm of the community that still supported her. Regardless, she did improve a bit personality-wise after the championship, so I must give credit to where credit is due. Her tweets did become better, and I think what happened is that someone got involved in her PR and said, hey, I think you can communicate this better. Because folks, track and field is not just about running and breaking new highs. It is also about personality and character off the field. Now, Richardson is an individual that was once the fastest sprinter on the United States team who failed to showcase those excellent abilities in the Olympics due to pharmaceutical uses. And I have to be careful with my words there because YouTube does not like it, but you know what I mean by pharmaceuticals, or at least most of you guys. But even after that, her character off the field became hard and questionable to deal with for most people. Her behavior was annoying. The relationship with the Jamaican audience was questionable as there were comments thrown back and forth between the Jamaican audience and the American audience in track and field YouTube. And it was not friendly at all. Then you had controversy over her fishnet outfit and attire. And if by looking at this picture that you cannot tell that someone like this needs help, I don't know what is wrong with you. Not just failing to adhere to proper track attire, but failing to realize all this stuff slows you down, especially when your time is determined by a thousandth of a second. For example, at events when it came down to Gina Lukenkemper and Kambunji this summer at the European Championships. Apparently to me, it did not seem like anyone close to her was checking Richardson at all on how she dressed and how she behaved. Because friends don't let friends who look like this go outside looking foolish. If they do, then those are not real friends and people you want to grow up and be associated with. So that leads me to believe that what helped Shikari Richardson grow up and improve in the latter part of this season was you guys, the fans and critics, because that is where the money comes from. Once you see your money impacted, that's when you start to act right, especially if your fan base walks away and gets frustrated. But track and field is not just about media attention and clicks. You also have to perform. You can come with whatever personality, whether it's from the street or outside, but if you cannot run, you have to check yourself out the door. Deion Sanders of the Dallas Cowboys talked a lot of smack, but game day, he came ready to back it up. Allen Iverson of the Philadelphia Sixers came ready to play, and I gave him a break when he said those famous three words, practice, practice, practice. Why do I have to come to practice? Because that was past his prime. He was at a very mature point of his career, and he did not need to run 100 laps up and down the court. They were killing that man during that latter part of his life. And he was just a straight up baller who could appear any day on the court and easily drop 25 points. But the similarities between Dion and Iverson 
is that they really loved the sport and it was way bigger than their personalities. However, I have yet to see that from Richardson as compared to her counterpart, T.T. Terry, who has ran in every 100 meter event this year, which is at an amazing 25 races. And when you love a sport so much, it goes beyond personal issues. I will put out Cal Ripken from the Baltimore Orioles as another example. The guy never missed a single baseball game. He holds a record for consecutive games played of 2,632. Yes, that many. Now, that to me is a bit extreme, as he probably didn't see any of his kids get born. So it goes back to what level does Shikari Richardson love this sport? I have yet to see and understand that. But I'll give her a second chance, but to some of you out there, this is probably a third chance. And I... <laughs> And I agree with After News Delight, which is a great YouTube channel, and you guys should check him out. But after next year, if Shakari Richardson is not able to perform to championship level, then she is basically done. It would be really, really hard to come back to track and field at that point. And I think that is fine. The sport is not for everyone. And she can focus on displaying her talents into other things like fashion, I have to stop here and say, if you like or hate this conversation right now, then show your support with a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you agree or disagree. That really helps this channel. I listen to everyone out there and take your input very seriously. Now, I do want to transition to other areas that Richardson can improve in because that is important. Obviously, the top and most important thing we talked about is personality and character if she wants to grow her brand internationally. The second area is her speed. Her reaction time coming off the blocks has to improve. And I hate to say this because she is way better than this. She has clocked better speeds in the past. What she needs to do is go into the off season and go back to basics. Get with her college coach if she needs to, or find a consultant because the last several performances were not the best. But when it comes to reaction time, it is easier said than done. She needs to get back into the groove as to why I am saying go back to LSU and do whatever you are doing back then, Richardson. Should she have stayed longer and earlier at LSU and gone pro much later in life? I don't know because every athlete is different. But because she was breaking national times, I believe it was a good decision and move, but I only wish that the personality was on the same level as the gift. So that is the hard part. And could she have learned to improve her personality at LSU? Well, I'm not sure about that as well. Maybe if she had time to go out more and meet different people, then maybe. And I am so big on personality with the subject because it impacts performance. And I would like to stress that out to you young guys listening to this. Now the lady with the fastest reaction time is Monjinga Kambunji right next to Shelly. And reaction time is dependent on skill, discipline, and years of experience to take advantage of that sound of that gun going off. Kambunji is the fastest lady in the 60 meter dash with an amazing time this year but acceleration is slow where she just gets walked on in other races. Now this brings me to the second part of Richardson's performance, which is her acceleration. That needs to improve. And the only way to improve that is practice and going back to basics. But I promised earlier in this video that I would not show any stats, so forgive me, I could not help myself and deep apologies. Overall, Shakari's performance in just 10 races is not that bad. She is still the top three sprinters that have ran over 11 races this year on the U.S. team. Her average time is third with 11.08. The best time is Aaliyah Hobbs with a time of 10.94 and followed by T.T. Terry of 11 flats. So this year was not a bad year when compared to the overall sprint team in general. And that's why sometimes you have to step back and take a look at everything in perspective and as a whole and she can definitely use this momentum to build on excellence into next year and overall shikari richardson attitude and behavior 
towards the latter part of the season has improved. So is it time to give Shikari Richardson a break? Let me know your thoughts below. Overall, again, she has had a decent year in terms of time, and I have to hope for her going into next year. I'll break down Shikari Richardson's races this year at least once every two weeks to build up until next year. So you can subscribe to this channel for updates. Have a great day.